Melanie, and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So I know that lately I've been showing a lot of over-the-top events, and I get it. One thing I want to share with you guys is that Living Luxuriously for Less is a totally different brand from Melanie Turner Designs and Events. So a lot of my events can be over-the-top sometimes. They can be very luxurious, but I still, you know, incorporate those same principles into my business. If something, you know, in my, um, my definition of luxuriously for less, it does not necessarily mean cheap or Dollar Tree. What that means is that I'm getting a quality piece or a quality element for a fraction of the price. I'm not sacrificing price for quality and I'm not sacrificing quality for price. So when I design events with that luxurious mindset, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't mean that you're going to get a, you know, hundred thousand dollar event on a thousand dollar budget. Mm -mm. What I will do is that instead of you paying a hundred thousand dollars for those exact same elements, I'm going to employ all of my gifts and talents to be able to bring you that same event on a much cheaper budget, maybe 30,000, maybe 20,000. Is that cheap? Absolutely not. It's not cheap, but it's less than what you would have paid if you would have paid retail for it. And so I often find myself explaining that a lot, especially when people see me um, here on YouTube or, it, you know, or, you know, want to translate from like YouTube to my regular business. And I'm like, okay, these are two different brands, two different people. And I don't really know how to separate it you know, um, you guys give me some suggestions. Should I start a totally different channel with just doing event planning things? Or have I established myself so much on YouTube as living luxuriously for less that, you know, I just keep the, this same thing going? Let me know down below because I'm, I'm really at a crossroad and I want to make sure that I make the right decision. Number two, speaking of li living luxuriously for less and celebrating and decorating luxuriously for less, I know it's been quite some time since I've really showed you guys some events on a shoestring budget. And so for this particular event, I have challenged myself to do just that. I'm going to show you guys this event that I created for our ministry, um, which is where this all started. It's like I'm at, on the exact like in the exact same building, in the exact same wall as when I did the first video. I didn't mean to get emotional here, but it's like a full circle moment. Like it was on a Saturday morning and I was recording myself doing a backdrop. And that, that video has been viewed almost a million times in this very same space, in this very same building, in the very same wall. And it's because of you guys that I am able to do the what I love for a living. And today I want to revisit those roots and show you guys what I'm currently doing. So let me get myself together because I did not expect it. So emotional these days. Let me get myself together. I'll show you guys the progress and then I'll show you guys kind of what I've been doing. So give me just a moment. Okay. Okay, you guys. So here is our fellowship hall. This wall, this very wall right here is the same wall that I did that backdrop video on. Like I was standing right there seven years ago when I started this YouTube channel. And I'm still serving in that same capacity because God has been faithful. He's been faithful. And so here's what I have going on. I wanted to do a DIY to kind of show you guys how inexpensive this can be and how you can still create a beautiful event on a budget, okay? And so I challenged myself to spend under $200 and I'll give you guys a few hacks and let me see, my camera is a little fuzzy. Let me fix that, hold on. Okay, so what I did was I got, first thing is I got these balloons from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each and I got 12 of them, okay? And then I had a lot of forks and spoons like that left that I used, but you can also buy these at Hobby Lobby, the forks only for um, $2.99. Hobby Lobby also had 50% off of their paper goods. So these plates, 
and the the um dessert plate was only let's see i think they were 5.99 and i got two packs of each one for 5.99 so all of my cutlery was less than fifteen dollars for 50 people and then the cups were 2.99 50 percent off and the napkins were 5.99 with 50 percent off and then the balloons i got them in a pack of 61 in a pack for 6.99 and so that is what i did the table with so you guys can do all the math there um and then the tablecloths, you can get these tablecloths from e -Favor Mart for like $5. And these are clean. I'm not sure why it's looking stained. Maybe me touching stuff. I'll go back through. And, um, and I'm doing these centerpieces here. Just super simple. And I'm going to do something fresh. This is a Chiara wall. Now, this is a wood wall, and I did have it made. And wood is astronomical right now, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you guys that this one is budget friendly, but I think her name is Tara Perez Project here on YouTube. She showed you how to do this using Dollar Tree products. I just needed mine to be a little bit more durable. And I also wanted a stand on the back. Let me show y'all. So one of my client's husband is a woodworker. So we, um, mine can like close in and they stand straight up. I needed them for long lasting, pretty much, okay? So that is where we are right now. I have balloons blown up in the floor, blowing up more balloons. And and then I, my idea is to do a low hanging runner, like right here, so I don't have to put it on the table. Now that's my idea. We're gonna see if that idea works, but that's the idea. So that is all I have so far. I'll come back and show you guys the progress. Okay, you guys, so here is the final verdict. I love the way that it turned out. I opted not to do draping because I wanted to keep the cost true for you guys. So what I did was on each table, I used paper products and over the tables, I because the ceiling was low, I was able to do a balloon runner over the table. I thought it added a little bit more interest to the room. It took up some of the airspace and it didn't look so empty. And then on the actual table, I used a lot of the paper products like the napkins and the cups and all of those things make your table look more full. And when you're designing a table, you want it to look full but not crowded and having those elements in place just brought so much interest to the eye the suspended balloons out of the ceiling i just suspended them using uh fishing wire and then this backdrop again you can create this using poster board from the dollar tree i use wood but this can de definitely be done for about five or six dollars using poster board from the dollar tree so this is the overall look of the space i think it turned out absolutely incredible i spent about ten dollars per table i had six tables so my grand total was around 70 something dollars i think i told you guys that earlier but i absolutely love the way that it turned out these chrome balloons from the chrome balloons from hobby lobby were absolutely incredible um, I was able to do all three of these hanging pieces out of the same pack and those packs were $6.99 each and then the other packs I was able to do the the table center pieces as well as the backdrop balloon um, organic balloon arch so you can definitely stretch your dollar by using balloons and get creative especially if you have like a low ceiling or something of that nature so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these tips let me know down in the comment below what tips you like best for me my favorite ones were the suspended balloon garlands and using the paper products on the table to make the table look really full and uh festive so i would love to hear your tip down in the comments thank you so much for watching and until next time it's melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers Let's be honest,